uh, welcome back to GB's Odds and Ends. Jessica here. So, I recently did a game night with my mom. Uh, if you want to check out that video, it was out a few days ago. But uh, she won $68 that went into her envelope. So besides the $100 that I normally give her, she'll get the extra 68 as well. And that will just go towards what I owe her. Um, because I do I owe her, she said, maybe around $800 or so. But um, because we're doing the game nights about once a month, I kind of want to unstuff those envelopes when we do the games and maybe put some of that into either my wallet or my long-term binder and just kind of give myself like a little bit of an extra bump in some of the areas where I need it before I get paid again. So we did, we do three games. Um, at the end of the last video, we had a picnic run game. There was $15 that I got from my turns in those games. And I put those, that money into my savings, back into my savings challenge to go towards when I do savings challenges again. So I think I'm going to wait until after I get my second paycheck in April to do savings challenges, but I'm going to go ahead and take some of this and put it towards some other areas. So maybe when I get my next paycheck, I won't have to put so much like into my wallet or things like that. So from your life, I have five, six, seven, eight dollars. And I'm just going to keep track of that on my calculator. From the Scratchopoly game, I have 20, 30, 40. And then from the Scratch and Ladders, I have. 20, 45, 55, 61. So that's 109. Okay, so I'm going to start with my wallet and just see if there's any area where I kind of want to add a little bit. So in dining out, I currently have 20, 40, 60, 85, 90. We'll make that an even 100 and add a 10. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 100. For grocery, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, wait, 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, so I think that's fine for now. We're going to leave that as is. For shopping, I currently have just 20, so I'm going to add another 20, so we have 20, 40. And actually, I didn't even check to see. I don't think any of them would be J bucks, but let me just double check because I didn't get any J bucks from my last April paycheck from the bank. I don't, I mean, I go through them all of the time, so I doubt any of these are going to be J bucks, but you never know. I don't know why they would be, but, and let me just check these. So that's a no, no, nope, nope, okay. <laughs> Entertainment currently has 20, 40, 60, 80. 
that's good enough. I don't end up usually dipping into that envelope very much. Beauty only has 15 because I recently got a pedicure. I do need to add more to this because I am going, I do have a hair appointment at the end of April. So it's probably just going to be a, just like a cut, but I probably won't have to get my hair dyed, but let's go ahead and I'm going to do 30 in here. So 20, 30, 45, that would be enough with a including tip to get the haircut. And then I can just add a little bit more in my next paycheck. Okay. All right, so let's take a look. Um, actually, instead of my long-term binder, I think I maybe want to do the holiday binder because Mother's Day is right around the corner. And I want to make sure that I'm going to have enough for what we may want to do on Mother's Day. So... Let's go ahead and start here. We'll start with the gifts again, like I normally do. Okay, we'll start with the birthday challenge. Birthday, yep, birthday savings. Let's do a cupcake. All right, so we have eight, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see what we have in here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86. All right, so we have 20, 40, 60, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. But let me go ahead and do Nope, I don't have any tens. Never mind. <laughs> All right, so on to Mother's Day. Okay, and I'm using the St. Patrick's Day page for Mother's Day. But let's go ahead and, ooh, it is pouring here. All right, we have a four. And I don't have four singles. Let me see what I have in here. 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, so, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 74, Okay, so with the extra four, I would have 78. So, so I have, yeah. So 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78. Okay. And let's do one more. All right, that's a big one. A 20, and I think that will be calling it a day. So 20, 40, 
$60.80.95.96.97.98. So that so far takes care of the gift that I want to get her. Okay, and then we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to end it here, and this will just go towards future savings challenges. Since it's not very much, I don't want a chance getting like a 20 or something like that again if I do another scratch off. So I'm going to leave that as is, and that will go towards savings challenges. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye for now.